What's up guys? I just wanted to create a video so I could show you, you guys my Pokemon card collection that I've been working on for a while. Um, uh, my main objective here is to build a base set, um, primarily uh, Shadowless First Edition. Uh, there's going to be some unlimited in here until I can get um, the money together to get a complete Shadowless set. I've just been buying it a piece at a time. Uh, I buy a lot of collections on the side and uh, I keep what I need and uh, I sell the rest. Um, so yeah, check it out. I got Shadowless Charizard, pretty proud of that one. Um, Shadowless Magneton on the bottom. Shadowless Hitmonchan. <clears throat> uh, all these up here are unlimited. And uh, a couple really nice uh, Shadowless cards here. This Shadowless Venusaur is extremely nice. I thought about sending it off to have it graded. Um, thinking it could probably pull a PSA 9. There's a little speck right above put Venusaur right there. You can kind of see it in the camera. But this holographic part of the card is just beautiful. No scratches. Um, very good near mint condition. Um, Shadowless Raichu. Uh, I've got a uh, a couple more, a lot of shallows over here. Um, a couple first editions. Uh, this one, I believe, maybe like a light stamp, but I'm no expert. Yeah, I got a couple doubles in here. Um, mm -hmm. That stamp looks kind of normal. Um, but yeah, making some good progress. Uh, first edition. Shadowless Yellow Cheeks Pikachu. I also have a Shadowless Red Cheeks Pikachu that we'll get to in a second. Uh, several first editions on this page and over here. Um, lots of gaps towards the back. I uh, need to pick up some of these trainers. Um, but again, I'm in no hurry. Uh, some of these um, energies over here are first editions. First edition, first edition, full heal and maintenance. First edition Pokemon Center. Two first edition energies here. And then I have a whole bunch of random cards. These are some uh, extra shadowless energies. Um, and I primarily collect vintage cards. I don't collect the newer stuff, the full art GXs. Um, and I don't really collect too many cards that are bent, dinged up, scratched. I try to keep the, the best ones for myself. Some nice Japanese Charizard that I picked up recently. Thinking that thing might create a PSA 10. Um, here's a cool Legendary Collections non holo Charizard. Uh, some e reader cards over here. Nothing holographic. Nothing extremely special, but some really cool arts on these, so I like to hang on to those. More extra Shadowless in the back. Some base set two. You have jungle and fossil. First edition Pikachu down there. Uh, and then we kind of get some random cards over here on the left, but over here on the right, these are some Neo cards that I have. Uh, I recently picked up a couple of these shining cards um, out of a collection that are really good condition. I don't know that I'll send them off and be graded. I kind of just like them in the binder. Shining Kabutops and a Shining Gyarados. Really good condition. Um, then I also picked up these when I was traveling a couple weeks ago. Had two of these. Um, first edition Neo Destiny packs. Uh, the other one that was a Selby art. Um, this one's a Noctile. Um, thinking about selling it. Uh, on eBay, I can get about 700 750 bucks for it, um, but it's really tempting. Uh, I kind of want to open it. Um, maybe you guys can leave some comments and uh, let me know what you would do. And uh, I don't know, who knows, I might open it up on a later video. Um, not much random cards back here, nothing too special. Well, this is a legendary collections hollow Machamp, it's kind of cool. Um, it's a first edition Mr. Mom that I'm kind of proud of. It's in really good condition. I don't see any scratches on the hollow, no lines. It's in really good condition. A little bit of silvering around the edge, but again, still in great condition. 
Uh, there's the Shadowless Red Cheeks Pikachu I was talking about. Uh, let's see, I guess we can take a closer look at that. Okay, most of my cards are in good condition. That bin right there, that's just on the, the sleeve, not the card. Uh, then I have uh, one page of Japanese cards. I don't really collect Japanese cards, but um, I don't know what else to do with them, so I'll just stick them in the back back here. A couple first edition uh, gym heroes or gym challenge, not sure. Energy cards there. And a couple random base set blast toys up there. I don't think they're like anything special. No errors on those. No, not that I can tell. Uh, Again, some more random cards in the back back here. Random Typhlosion, that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, the, I know I said I don't collect them, but here's a few. Uh, newer cards, they're in the back back. Probably least priority of mine. I'm um, least proud of those. Oh yeah, and then I have a couple of cool things back here for nostalgia. This is, uh, I'm not really sure what this came from. I just got it out of a collection, but um, I guess maybe it was from the... Uh, some like kit they put out um, like a long time ago like when I first released these cards because I'm pretty sure that's an indication that this came out of like a, a shadowless um, kit of some sort and then whatever that is I'm not really sure um, first edition Chansey in some other language maybe German I don't know uh, and yeah my cards are upside down in this book uh, it's a really nice book that I picked up um, a while back, but uh, I just started loading the cards and didn't realize that it was upside down. But um, it does the job. Maybe someday I'll take the time to take them all out and uh, re you know, reorganize them so they're in there the right way. But uh, anyway, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And um, let me know what you guys think about this. Should I open it or should I sell it? I mean, that would be a lifetime pull if I could uh, pull like a shining. First edition Charizard out of here. Um, I think I saw some going for over ten thousand dollars on eBay. I definitely don't want to just keep the pack. Uh, I don't really collect packs, so uh, yeah, I'll be making a decision soon. Maybe you guys can help me make that decision. Uh, let me know if you want to see it, and uh, if I get enough uh, comments, likes, then we'll open it up later, guys.